Hey, good morning, everyone. How's it going today? Coach Alvarez here, back at you another episode, Coffee with Coach, on this awesome Tuesday morning. Hope you're up, doing well. Got the mind in the right place. If not, as always, let's put it in the right place. So I um, wanted to share this with you guys. Because lately, I've been sharing these uh, these videos, these Jocko and uh, David Goggin um, videos that um, these different you know companies or whatever are making or whoever's making them. And it's really good stuff. And then sometimes I'll share with you guys like just conversations uh, that I have with other people or students after class, uh, you know, locker room talk, stuff like that. And one of the things I wanted to share with you guys, especially with the last two weeks, all right, we're December 15th, end of 2020, um, the conversation I had with a student last night. Uh, and it's just like the description says, you know, you just stop the lies with the truth. You know, just be honest with yourself, you know, just be honest with yourself. And then things will start moving in the right direction. So what do I mean by that? So I had a student yesterday, I haven't seen in a while. And I get always get super excited when, um, you know, a, a student comes back that I haven't seen on the mat. Of course, I'm excited all the time to see all my students. But when I'm seeing them every day, or I'm seeing them on a routine basis, you know, you're just used to seeing them. But then if someone comes up missing for a while, all right, and you're used to seeing that person, you're used to seeing, uh, talking to that person, their personalities on the mat, you know, just their presence on the mat, then they come up, you know, they go ghost on you for a while. And then when they do pop up back on the scene again, and they walk in, I'm a very uh, loud and vocal individual to where, you know, I'll yell out your name and, you know, just make it known that I recognize that you're here. OK. And um, because I want the individuals to know that that haven't been coming back or they haven't been there, they have been skipping class that uh, that we miss them, that I miss them and that they're not just like going unnoticed, you know, um, all my students get text messages when they miss, um, you know, a week of class, 10 days of class, 14 days of class, 21 days of class, 28 days of class, stuff like that, you know, along with other, you know, emails and whatever else that we try to just, you know, keep people, you know, reeled in to, to the training and don't drift off. But it happens. It happens to actually more than I would like. Um, but that's just life. And that's what happens. People just, you know, they just they slip, they fall, and then they disappear for a little bit. So anyways, um, one of the individuals that came back last night that I was um, really excited to have back on the mats um, was just telling me, like, you know, because a lot of people would just they'll give me some kind of whack excuse of, of why they were skipping class and where they've been at and stuff like that. And this individual was just straight up. He's like, man, coach, I'll just be honest. I was just being lazy. You know, Oz is being a lazy person, just making excuses and, and uh, you know, not coming to class. And I could have came to class and I just didn't. And I was like, man, that's good stuff. Like, you're just being honest. Like, you could have just came in here and said you had the COVID or you could have did. You could have just whatever said whatever you wanted to say to, to, to somehow cover up for the lack of uh, discipline that you had. And instead, you were just honest with it. You are just honest with it and just told me straight up, hey, I was just being lazy. And the reason why, well, got a little deeper into it, but one of the reasons why was they had a teammate uh, that, haven't, that hasn't been coming to class. And they were like, well, if they're not coming to class, I'm not coming to class either, you know. And I was just like, man, that's not how you want to base your goals. You know, you, you, you don't want to base your goals or the things that you're trying to chase based on other individuals uh, period, whether they show up or not, either you want to go do the thing or not do the thing, you know, I mean, are you doing it because someone else wants to do it? And you're just trying to fit in with a with a certain type of people, a certain type of crowd? Um, or are you doing it because you really like this stuff, and you really want to get better at it, and you want to improve and you want to improve your health, and you want to put yourself around better people and you want to, um, you know, contribute to the team and all this other stuff? Or just do it because someone else is doing it. And so they finally got their act together and just said, man, I need, to, I need to go to class. You know, I need to go to class. And so they showed up. And like I told them last night, I was like, man, I'm really glad you came in before the end of the year ended. 
you know, because it makes a huge difference whether or not you do it now or you do it January 1st or 2nd or whenever you're done partying and it's the new year and everything else like that. If you get it happening now, if you do it now, then you're already started and you're building the routine back up to going into the next year so that you can start doing the things that you're, you know, finish doing the things that you've already started. You don't want to have to start all the way from cold, like, like just, you know, missing class and everything like that, starting completely over after the new year when everyone else is doing it. Like, do it now. Like, make it happen now. So anyways, we were talking because this individual loves to talk and we're just hanging out after class and it's just, it was good to have him back. Okay, it was good to have him back. And I'm trying to get his other friends back because it was like a, it was like a group of four that came in. And one of the four is really dedicated. Okay, one of the four is really dedicated and he's training and he's getting after it and he's falling in love with jujitsu and he's he's getting in better shape and he's just, you know, changing as an individual. He's got that, that jujitsu bug in him. And the other ones is just, you know, I got one back last week, got the got the other one back last night and I'm still missing one more. So I reached out to him last night. We'll see what happens. You know, talented individual, um, can make a good, a really good contribution to the team. We could all get better. Uh, if this individual showed up, but we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully he'll come back um, before the end of the year instead of after the new year, stuff like that. But anyways, stopping the lies with the truth, being honest with yourself, why it is you're not doing something that you're supposed to be doing. You know, I had a student yesterday. I made a post in my team page. Uh, he's one of my brown belts, young guy. Uh, you know, he's he's uh, he wants to go into, uh, I think, a, a dental dental um, assistance. Anyways, he was doing some volunteer work yesterday. So he came in and trained, when did his volunteer work, came came back, got a run, got a cardio session in, and then he did the night class. And then he made a post about what a long and exhausting, like tiring, but productive day it was. And for the next five weeks, he's going to be on this rigorous grind of, you know, um, doing these things. And that's what it's all about, man. So I took the little snapshot of it. And I posted it in my in our private team page to just say, look, this is it. This is what you this is. These are the individuals that motivate me. These are the things that I want to see from from everyone, because the more people getting up, doing things and accomplishing goals, man, it gets you fired up to do the same. And and this is what it's all about. So this is how you want to end the year. You don't want to end the year laying on the couch, man, eating ice cream, cheeseburger, fries, being lazy, making excuses, hating on everyone else watching everyone else achieve goals and, and, and being one of those bitter people that are just like, you know, just making excuses as, as to why you're not doing something that you have total control of and do it and make it happen, you know, but you got to stop the lies with the truth. Be honest with yourself because at the end of the day, what do you, whether you do something or don't do something, it really just only affects you. I mean, for instance, in, in, in our case, it does affect the team when certain individuals don't show up. And we could be getting better, but at the end of the day, we got other people to work with on the mat and we are getting better and we are improving and we are getting after it and we are getting in shape and we are getting healthier and we are just getting more mentally fit and physically fit. And so whether people show up or not, you know, we're going to still get after it and make things happen. And that's just the way it works, man. The world still turns no matter what. It still turns on its axis, still night and day come and go, whether you sit on the couch or not, man. It's just, it's just the way it's going to be. So you have, you, have a, you have just two choices. Get up and make the moves or just stay there and then complain about why you're not getting the things that you want, why things aren't going the way you want them to go. And I was looking at from my books here, but, um, you know, I was just talking about like Jocko yesterday was talking about like, you know, if things are just marginal for you right now and things are just going, you know, okay, mediocre for you right now, and you want more, then you have total control over that. And you can make those things change like today, like right now with just, just small incremental changes going forward, start to build momentum or, you know, small incremental laziness, uh, you know, bad habit ways will put you in another direction um, to where it's just not a good place to be. You know, I want to be in a good place. I want life to be fruitful. I want things around me to be plentiful and, and good, you know, and I can only do that by pushing myself, pushing my, my friends and family members and my students to do the absolute best because that's what I need around me. And it offends some people. It really does. Like it really 
bothers a lot of people that I want them to do more than what they're doing. Because if they want to hang around me and be around me, which a lot of people do, you know, um, you got to get after it. You know what I mean? And then when you're not getting after it, you know, a little attitude comes from my from me because I know you can do more and you're just not doing more. You know what I mean? So anyway, stop the lies with the truth. Start, stop it today, guys. Like get it, get it happen. If you're doing great and you're on the path, like, stay on it. OK, like right now, I'm about to end this, grab my stuff. I'm about to go hit weights before the jiu-jitsu class. And then train some jujitsu and, you know, start the morning off, right? But, you know, again, you can just sit around for the next two weeks and do nothing, you know, and make excuses as to why it is that you're not doing what it is that you want to do and watch other people grow and develop and get better and get closer to their goals. And what happens is it just you just get bitter that way, man. You do because you're seeing other people improve and then you start hating, you know, on people and um, because you're just not getting up off that couch and making those moves. You have total control over certain things. And if you're not doing them, then you, you need to be doing them, you know? So like my student last night, straight up honest, no, no excuses, just coach. I was just, I just been being lazy. I just didn't come to class and he finally showed up and, and made the moves and got there. He said, he's coming tonight. I know he's going to see this video. So I expect you to see there. I expect you to, um, to see you tonight. And let's get after it, man. Let's get after it. Let's get better. You know, this individual had already lost, oh man, I want to say like 50 pounds or something like that already. You know what I mean? Like, like, why would you stop that? Like, why would you, why would you want to go backwards? Why, why wouldn't you want to keep that going forward? Like I, you can tell this individual that lost this weight already is, is, is changing to a different person. You know, I don't know. I, I know I wouldn't feel good if I gained 50 pounds right now of just like unwanted 50 pounds, you know? And I can't move and train jiu-jitsu with my students like like I want to because i just been lazy and been eating pizza, cheeseburgers and fries and drinking a bunch of Cokes, man. Like that just, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't feel good about myself, you know? I feel good about myself even on days where I'm tired, uh, tired and sore and I don't feel like it. I still go through the motions and just get it done because I always feel better after a workout, you know what I mean? So it's just what it is, but that's me. And I feel better after I eat you know, healthy, good stuff. You know what I mean? So anyway, stop the lies with the truth. Let's get after it. I got to go. I got to get these weights in and uh, you guys have a great day and we'll catch you guys on the next one. We'll see you.